Yeah, buddy. So let's talk Jade Chung. She is now the new ring announcer for TNA in 2024 and beyond. And I couldn't be happier about this. I couldn't be happier about some change in the ring announcing. And I caught a few episodes with with Jade um, of BTI. And typically, I don't have any interest in BTI. I have more interest in getting a UTI than I do watching BTI. But I did catch a few episodes because I wanted to hear Jade do her, do her thing. And you heard her on the Hidden Gems episode as well. And she, you know, I felt like she did what I've been asking for with Penzer. You know, there's two different wrestlers and they got different ring introductions and different energies. And, you know, I think she just brought some energy in general that we haven't been really getting. Uh, I don't think she's quite ready yet. I don't think she's quite there. I think she could use a little more bass in her voice. If you've heard Jade speak, as I used to listen to her podcast, um, she's got a great, great speaking voice. Um, and she's hot too. You know, like this company has been allergic to putting hot women on television, not to, uh, not a knock against, you know, several of the knockouts, but I mean, just, you know, a lot of old people, fat people, you know, like th this is just kind of a breath of fresh air. Overall, we haven't had a female ring announcer in forever. Um, but as I, as I said a second ago, I don't, I don't think she's maybe quite ready yet. The company disagrees with me, obviously, but I will say, I do think she's a lot further along than Gia uh, Miller was when she started. I think she's a lot further along than Mackenzie Mitchell when she started. And we see that Mackenzie is is a great ring announcer now. Uh, great, excuse me, ring announcer, backstage interviewer. And I think Gia is a solid backstage interviewer. But those two women were horrible when Impact hired them. They sounded like absolute robots. They sounded like the, the cyborg on the episode of Dr. Phil. The guy thought he was a cyborg. You got to look him up. Um, <clears throat> That's what they sounded like to me, you know? They they weren't natural at all, and they they both ended up being pretty good. And I think Jade, as a ring announcer, is further along as an on-screen talent than they were. So I think there's a lot of room for growth for her. I think she can be a very good ring announcer. She's obviously more attractive than David Penzer, so, you know, I think that's a big step up as well. But I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've always kind of been a fan of Jade in a sense that, you know, like she's done a little bit of wrestling. Like I said, I like their podcast and, uh, you know, there's a family atmosphere going on at TNA and I think that's great. And hopefully, hopefully, you know, she steps into this role and knocks it out the park. And I think it's, uh, very possible she does, but I think she's much further along than, than other people we've had on screen before. And I think it's going to be a step up from David Penzer. If if anything, just because it's something different and fresh, and it's a it's a female energy, and you know, so many episodes over the last three years of Impact just looked and felt the same in every single way from top to bottom. And now, you know, something like this is just it just gives us something different. So I'm really looking forward to it, uh, and just looking forward to seeing her her growth. But you know, I mean, let's be Let's be fair. I would have accepted anybody in this role at this point because I really just wanted something different. But I felt this was probably the direction they were going to go with it. And I've got no problem. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Jade can do in 2024.